So what do we know, guys? We know that the DXY, which is the dollar, is continuing to gain strength. It's one of the highest it's been in years, okay? Uh, it's higher than, uh, than, 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 than pre-COVID and everything. Now, this is why gold has been holding back, but, but... The good news is, is that gold is still holding around $1,800 an ounce, meaning that there are not people that are running away from it yet, okay? Now, we saw DXY, which is your dollar index, right? This is the value of the dollar versus the, a, a large batch of, of other large currencies, including, you know, the sterling, the pound, the euro, whatever. And so we saw it near that alt, near the high, the near the 20-year high, but, but the, whatever, not 20-year high, but the year, you know, several year high, I should say. So, it, yeah, it actually eclipsed the high from 2017. So it did hit uh, a 20 year high. Now the thing about it is, is that uh, as the dollar strengthens, obviously there's no need to go into alternative, you know, hedges against the currency, right? But wow, that's a big tick up in the dollar right there. Wow. Now the fact that gold has been holding around, you know, holding a, a close to $1,800 despite the dollar flying shows me that there are people waiting for the DXY for the dollar to fall. And when it falls, it could be very, very, very deep. I mean, this is this is from um, the flash crash in Europe this morning. OK, so for those of you guys who are unaware, there was a flash crash in Europe today and we saw the dollar fall out of the fucking sky for a minute there. But on the daily, this chart could get real ugly if we start to see, um, you know, any weakness in the dollar because it's so high right now that fear of, 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 of falling could cause panic selling. But if the dollar falls, I'm going to be keeping a very, very close eye on gold. I know that's boomer is shit, but you know something in a market where all the not all the people that called you a boomer for having divvies and other stuff and were laughing at you are all fucking broke now. So I guess who's laughing now, right? Uh, there's a reason why they call it boomer shit because boomers have more money. Uh, but yeah, here you go. This is what I want to keep an eye on. I'm not saying I'm hedging my portfolio significantly with gold. I'm just letting you guys know that this is what I'm, I'm, I'm keeping an eye on. Here's the thing. Gold has held $1,800. It's been pulling back for, uh, for, for a couple weeks now after hitting that high uh, in, uh, in March when we saw that big dip when the dollar also slipped. But here's the thing. It's been hanging around between $1,800 and $1,900, right? And today it's dipping a little bit because the dollar's strong. But if the dollar slips again, this thing could fucking go to $2,000 an ounce again. And that is what I'm, I'm watching. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking for an entry here as the dollar gets close to those highs again. And as we start seeing weakness, that's what I'm going to be keeping an eye on there. So for those of you guys looking for something to potentially hedge to the downside uh, against currencies, definitely keep an eye on gold. A lot of people say, well, it's not, I'd rather do Bitcoin. Yeah, but as we just saw with El Salvador, Bitcoin is not, the, the experiment is not going so well so soon. And spy trading like a penny stock. Nice. So I think Bitcoin gets under 35,000 again. Yes. Doesn't mean I hate Bitcoin, Welcome guys. Doesn't mean I hate crypto. I'm not against crypto in any way. I think that the future will be that. But I think a lot of people misunderstand what crypto was when it started versus what it's become. And I think a lot of people are having a hard time understanding that it's not what it originally was. And it's like, it's like being into a craft beer that only a select group of people know about. And it's really good, and it's 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 tasty. It's only made in one or two locations, and it's the best thing ever. But then all of a sudden, somebody from Anheuser Busch goes and has it, loves it, decides, hey, we're gonna take this mainstream. It's still good for a while. Everybody's jumping in on it, and then they're like, you know what? We need to mass produce this. We need to we need to cut out this ingredient. This ingredient it'll still taste the same, but it's gonna be now it's mass produced. Now everybody knows about it, but it's not. It's watered down. It's not quite the same. And now there's like there's knockoffs and there's competitors and it's like, it, it, that's what it feels like now, especially with so many things that way it is decentralized. I'm not saying crypto is not the future. Crypto is definitely the future. I mean, there, there, it has to be, whether it's through a, 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 a you know, a, a safe coin, whether it's a, a whatever, it's a, a unregulated cryptocurrency, whatever. But the thing is, is that we're seeing with El Salvador, the same problem I said before, it, it, it's where we're at right now. They had to take their money, convert their currency to buy Bitcoin, but then they couldn't use the Bitcoin so then when they needed money, they had to convert, they had to sell their Bitcoin to get their currency back. But a lot of them bought it when it was in the $50,000, $60,000 range. And now they need money because of a recession and their money's worth 20% less. And they can't just hold it in Bitcoin because it's not. And so we're seeing that happen right now. Uh, and the fact that it's unregulated, but it can be regulated through, you know, some of the exchanges, right? Like Coinbase and, and others. You know, there are regulations. These are U.S. companies or international companies that have to follow through certain regulations. And so there's a lot going on right now. And... I think that a lot of people are getting a little weary, 
So that's my concern in the short term. In the long term, I still believe blockchain. I still believe a cryptocurrency of some form will be where we go. I mean, we already made the move a couple of times. We went from gold to to cash, and then we went from cash to to credit in a computer, right? And then we went from credit cards to fucking Zell and and and, and tapping and 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 whatever. And now we're moving. To, we're going to continue to evolve as a species, or are we backwards and we start trading fucking seashells and beads again. But you know. There's a lot of concern there. And I know that this is very, 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 very polarizing anytime I talk about positives or negative of crypto and Bitcoin especially. So I'm not saying it's going nowhere. I'm not saying it's going obsolete. I'm not saying it's going to zero. I'm just saying I could see with this uncertain time and with everything going on, I could see it going down, especially with the strength of the dollar right now. I mean, why is anybody going to want to put their money in Bitcoin right now when the dollar is so strong? Because here's the thing. You can't spend your crypto anywhere that matters, right? At a, at, a, at a significant level. Plus you have to pay to buy it. There's transaction fees that go up. And the dollar is so strong right now that why would anybody want to put their money, big money in crypto as it's going down while the dollar's going up? You put your money in the dollar, let it drive you up. And then as you go up, you take some off of this and then buy the dips on crypto. You don't just pick one or the other, you know? And, uh, and there's we'll a lot of concern there. The this morning, $1 was 1.05 euro. Yeah, remember uh, not too long ago when uh, a dollar was like 0.7 euro? Now, I'm not saying that, 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 that cryptocurrency is not the future. It absolutely is. It's going to have to. It's some kind of, some form of, 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 of you know, currency that is encrypted, you know, is, is going to have to be the future. But how is it backed? How is it there? Like I said, the, 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 the biggest, the best thing about crypto is the worst thing about crypto. And that's no regulation. It's the best thing because it's decentralized and it's freedom and all stuff. But because it's not regulated, there's no one to stop it from being pumped and dumped or wild swings or the value tied to anything. And therefore, merchants aren't going to want to purchase, use it as a currency until there's some kind of stability. Why not just buy silver or gold instead? Because silver and gold aren't the same as they were. We don't back our currency by them anymore. And as generations get older and new generations come in, the value of gold as a as a as a, as a hold of currency or a, a, a backing anymore. starts to dip more and more because there is a remember the value of something is what unless it's something that you actually need to survive the value of something is what you believe it's worth is i'm sorry okay unless you have to have it to live it's a it's there are some that there, there's a, there's a there's a slope here but it's what you believe it's worth and if people stop using gold and saying, oh, gold is worth, you know, it's so worth it, stop buying it. Let's just say everybody stops buying gold, stops using gold, right? Because it's old school and nobody wants it. Then does it store value anymore? No, it doesn't. I don't think people understand that gold isn't valuable because it's gold. Gold is valuable because it was the currency for million, for thousands and thousands of years. And so in the back of our minds, we've always used that as a, 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 a basis of what other things are worth. There was a time... When salt was the most expensive thing in the world. Armies, people killed each other over salt. Countries were conquered for salt. Nobody cared about your gold. And if you told somebody back then that salt would be the cheapest thing in the world, they would have laughed you out of the thing. They would have laughed you out of that. At some point, gold will no longer be considered a precious metal worth a lot of money. I mean, just think about it this way. And I'm not saying it's, 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 not, it's not there, but... Stocky's gone crazy. No, I'm not. It's still valuable now. I'm just saying that down the road. I mean, we're already moving away from so many things that used to be considered valuable. I mean, they they manipulate the price of diamonds and they're not even they're still falling because people are just less likely to 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 to, to want it or need it. Generations change what they what they want. Why do you think the S&P 500, you know, has changed over the years of of what's the biggest market cap and stuff? People change, things change, evolve. Salt is only cheaper now because it's easier to manufacture out. That's not true for gold. Yes, but that's because supply and demand. There is a limited supply of gold and a demand for it. But if that demand goes down, unless you continue to cut the supply and start regulating it and blocking it off for an artificial demand, then the value will go down.